Leader Kalonzo Musioka is at this moment chairing the party's top national brass at the party headquarters in Nairobi. Our reporter Patrick Hamimo is in there and now joins us live to shed more light on what the leaders could be discussing. Hamimo, it's so good to be seeing you and speaking to you. What details can you tell us about this meeting that is currently taking place? Thank you, Zinzi. At the Waipa party headquarters now, this is a new location there in Karen. Uh, where the, currently the party leader, Kalonzo uh, Musioka, is chairing this particular the National Executive Council meeting for the Waipa Party, which has brought uh, uh, on board uh, those, uh, the cream de la cream of the party to discuss various policy issues that uh, as pertains to how uh, the party, Waipa Democratic Party, will chart its way ahead of the 2022 uh, general election. Uh, remember, the first uh, National Executive Committee meeting by the Waipa Party was held in January this year in Lovington, uh, the former uh, party headquarters. Quarters. At that time round, uh, the party was, uh, the, was very much concerned about the sharing of parliamentary slots uh, immediately after the contested uh, August uh, election in 2017. When parliament resumed in January, it appeared that uh, they accused their, uh, their big brother in, 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 uh, in the NASA coalition, that is ODM, of bulldozing and trying to uh, and getting most of the lion's share of those particular seats. And we saw at that particular time there was a, a very a hotly contested uh, seat that was uh, who will represent the party in the parliamentary side. Service Commission, where at that time we saw uh, that um, Bobasi, uh, that is a uh, Borabu member of parliament, uh, Bernard Momanyi, who wanted to have a slot at the Parliamentary Service Commission, which eventually Momanyi uh, uh, got, is now, uh, is now a commissioner at the Parliamentary Service Commission. That, po that position had initially been taken by an ODM member, and we saw uh, there was a, high, a, high, a very, very high con contested uh, uh, issue over that uh, represent representation in the House committees, both at the Senate and the National Assembly. But this time around, it's, it's also Coming at a time when we've seen uh, uh, there's also that talk in NASA where we saw the Ford Kenya uh, leader or Moses Wetangula uh, claim that NASA is, uh, is, is, is moribund and or maybe on the deathbed and he wants to chart a way forward and which uh, invited a backlash from uh, 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 members or allied to NASA, those from ODM and ANC really over the week on, 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 on Wednesday we saw them really come out and lash at Moses Wetangula telling him to, uh, uh, to look at how he's, uh, he's making his pronouncement. But as it is now, at current here, there is uh, the members are already uh, they are still are uh, doing an in-house meeting at uh, at at the at at the at, at um, where they are meeting at the uh, NEC members uh, who are where the party leader Stephen Kalonzo Musioka is chairing uh, the, this particular meeting. It's been uh, it started uh, way back at around 11 uh, this morning, and for the last at least one and a half hours, members have been meeting to deliberate on various issues touching on the party and also how the, how to strategize and see uh, on the way forward. On how they can uh, start uh, recruiting members uh, ahead of these uh, these these uh, this, uh, this, uh, this succession um, uh, succession politics or holds up. Now we see President Uru Kenyatta is holding his last term, and also the Waipa Party has to strategize and see uh, how it will um, how it will really get uh, get its position. Well, I see uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka said he'll be uh, uh, is interested in uh, in succeeding President Uru Kenyatta, and this is one one way of ensuring that. Uh, he, he whips uh, party members uh, on, on, on board to ensure that uh, his bid, uh, maybe in 2022, uh, becomes a reality. So it's one of those strategies that they are looking at already after after having resolved uh, those differences that were existing in NASA on sharing party positions. Now this next uh, the next front uh, the next front line will be on how to strategize, to strategize for 2022 with Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Hopefully, I uh, may be trying this time around to see whether he'll uh, bulldoze his way in or, or muscle his way into that position and uh, convince. Are the other NASA affiliates to support his candidature? Given that uh, in 2013 uh, they supported uh, 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 Raila Odinga on ODM, 2017 they supported Raila Odinga on, on, on ODM, and this round, uh, this time round, uh, already Raila has not indicated whether he'll be contesting 2022. Uh, and probably uh, this gives uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka an, a good opportunity to try rally support and see whether they can convince uh, Raila Odinga to give him that, uh, maybe to uh, put his weight uh, for his candidature in 2022. Uh, so that is what is happening here, at Zinzi. You so but much. we expect later, uh, they, they, after one, once they are, they are through with their meeting, we expect they'll invite us give and give us the nitty-gritties on what they were discussing. All right. Zizi? Thank you so much, Amimo. Patrick Amimo.